very sorry for the late upload as, well, one, school has started for me, and two, I don't have any Pokemon for Master League, so this was probably the only team in video I was going to be doing on it, but Great League is going to start soon. This team is Machamp, Gyarados, and Rhyperior, and if you regain switch advantage from a bad lead, then you can still win the match. It's all about regaining switch advantage. You have a bad lead, say switch into the safe swap and you regain switch advantage then you can still come back from the bad lead now first match here and it's machamp versus mamoswine now this is a very good lead so they immediately swap into conkelder as their safe swap and i swap into gyarados as you can see um this is a pretty budget team as well because only machamp and uh, only gyarados has uh, two moves because it's only very low cost and right, the Rhyperior is not even actually maxed out. So as you can see here, they swap into Conkelder. The unfortunate thing is that Conkelder, um, it can, has Stone Edge, so it can go for them. So I have expend two shields, but then I regain switch advantage, I go for the Hydro Pump, and they don't actually shield their Mamoswine. So that's very interesting because now I can just bring in their Rhyperior when they bring in their last Pokemon, which is a Togekiss, and my Rhyperior is running Smackdown, so it will do super effective damage to flying type Pokemon, such as Dragonite and Togekiss. Now, and the second match is in, and my opponent has a lead of Metagross. Now, you can win this, um, but it's very close, and Metagross usually wins it, and I actually only get a great, so I'm, I'm thinking I'm not gonna win this, but if you shield one Meteor Mash, you can go for another Cross Chop, and then when you do that, you can counter down, go for the last Cross Chop, and either regain Switch Advantage or take out their last shield. They do, but I'm not going to let my Machamp die, so I switch into Gyarados immediately, try to take out the Metagross, but they store up extra energy and swap into Dragonite that's running Dragon Tail. So, shiny Dragonite at that. Very nice. So, I'm just going to go straight for Crunch, as they seem that they don't have uh, any shields, and... Um, I'm, they go for the Dragon Claw, and I'm going to shield that, because uh, whatever is in the back, um, probably Gyarados can handle it, since it had a lot of energy. It was a Waterfall Gyarados, so I was able to get that off, and now I just want to do as much chip damage as I can with my Rhyperior, and then I swap into the my Rhyperior, uh, sorry, as so much chip damage as I can with my Machamp, swap into Rhyperior, try to take it out, but they actually got an Outrage off, and then another waterfall which dealt huge amounts of damage, but I was able to take it out since Gyarados was part flying, and then Metagross was one smackdown away. So I take the second match. Now, in this match, I have the really good lead again of Rhyperior, and I do have to expend one shield if it's a Mud Slap Rhyperior, because Smackdown would be resisted, but Mud Slap wouldn't. So now, if this is a rock wrecker, it would be taken out, so it is, and I shield it up correctly. And then out comes a Togekiss, I store up to what looks to be a rock slide, hoping to get a shield, and I do. So now we're even on shields, so it's not too bad, and I regain switch advantage, so we're looking pretty good here. I can bring in my Rhyperior just fine, and since, uh, looking at the amount of health I have on my Rhyperior, I know this is in the flamethrower, so I don't have to shield it, it's just an ancient power, they swap into Hydreigon. So then I just swap into my own Gyarados, which is dealing super effective damage from the Hydreigon. But I do have to shield the Dark Balls, because that would deal a huge amount of damage. Out comes the Tokus, and I go for the Hydro Pump. Maybe they were expecting an Aqua Tail or a Crunch, because they didn't shield it, or maybe they just knew that the match was over. So, that's another nice game. Last match. At least, I think it's the last match. I'm not sure. So, my opponent has a lead of Garchomp. This is a even way lead. If you correctly call an Outrage, it's per, uh, you can actually win, but they're just going straight Sand Tune, and I, I didn't shield because I know it was just a Sand Tune. And then when I go for the next Cross Drop, my opponent does a nice swap into Togekiss, which double resists Cross Drop, but now I can swap into my Rhyperior since I have a counter for that Togekiss. 
So I just completely farm it down, and I know this is going to be an ancient power, so uh, I don't shield it, and I have two serfs ready, or almost two serfs, and instead of bringing their, their guard trump to farm down, they bring their metagross to farm down. So even though Rhyperior has Mudstock and can deal super effective damage to Metagross, it also takes super effective damage from Steel type moves. They bring in their uh, Metagross, I bring in my Gyarados, they swap into um, their Garchomp, and then I immediately, uh, uh, I don't actually switch into Machamp, I immediately go for the Crunch, because Machamp could like get one hit by not Rage, and I don't want to expend shields for that. So I swap into Metagro uh, Machamp to uh, hold up the Metagross's moves, which is a Psychic, just to hold it up, and I can go for the Crunch since I have two shields, and I win the game. Very, very nice. So, I hope this helped you, as I know Master League is a very, very resource-intensive um, league. You need to have almost 100 IVs on every Pokemon, and you usually want them maxed out. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you when Great League starts. Peace.